All right, so I'm titling this vid Total Wolf Seeing is Believing or something to that effect. And uh, you've really had to see it to believe it. I might make this a series of videos, but you really had to see it to believe it. I mean, I know that stands true for Total Wolf. He didn't believe it until he saw that, <laughs> until he saw qualifying, until he saw what Q2 looked like at Emila. He didn't believe it. I, I certainly didn't believe it. I thought they would be better than that. But yeah, you had to see it to believe it. You would never have believed that Mercedes would be that bad. At any circuit. I mean, name a circuit. At any circuit. I mean, these are the eight times Constructors' Champions we're talking about. Is, is it even possible for Mercedes to build a bad car? I mean, this was unthinkable. And you know, I said it, that um, the car <laughs> was a lot worse than it looked. It was being masked by um, Spy Weekend Excellence, by Sir Lewis Hamilton, George Russell, and just the, the Mercedes mechanics. <clears throat> it was just being masked by Weekend Excellence. And you know, I should give Toto some credit. He perhaps thought it, but same stands true for him as well. He had to see it to believe it. And until Q2 happened, uh, you got Hamilton and Russell stepping out the car, saying, that's it boss, I gave it all the qualifying magic it's got. And then of course you'd, you'd, you'd think, right, oh, it's sprint race weekend. They'll figure something out in the sprint race. Well, they didn't. They didn't figure anything out. And of course now there's wishful thinking going into Sunday Grand Prix that yeah maybe the car will be better on on, on full on full tanks of fuel. Um, yeah, that's wishful thinking. I think the car's gonna be bad around this type of circuit. I think it's just gonna be bad. I mean, it will be interesting to see how bad the car is at Monaco, or maybe it'll be good at Monaco. I still think they've got the highest downforce concept, I mean, it's post-Spain, assuming they get their Spain upgrade right. Spain is now a problem for Total Wolf. Okay, he's seen the car at its worst now, and now Spain is a problem for him. Because they've already, I'm sure, I'm sure at least, they've already made a, a decision on which parts are being manufactured. And they can't exactly... Um, pull stop on a lot of those parts. I mean, especially if they're doing a, um, a suspension upgrade, I mean, then you have to have a, a whole new chassis come out to fit the suspension, well, potentially, but most likely they'd have to have, like, new chassis for both drivers, and if they've, if they've actually gone wrong on their progression, I mean, it's gonna be a long season. It's gonna be a long season at Mercedes. And it's probably just hitting Wolf. It's probably just hitting Hamilton. I mean, Russell. I mean, it's an upgrade, right? He was at Williams. <laughs> Anything's an upgrade from there. Never thought we'd say this about Williams. Jesus. But, um, yeah. Difficult situation Mercedes find themselves in. I mean... Some people might say, <laughs> I gather there's conspiracy theories about um, all their personnel leaving. I mean, Mercedes, they run it this way, I suppose. <laughs> they always just hire young and then just promote from within. At least this is what I understand. But with that youth, I mean, you do need a supervisor. And I think James Allison has perhaps failed in his parental supervision of the young engineering of the young engineering whiz kids, I think he's failed in, in that regard because um, they've perhaps built a car that, I mean, yeah, maybe you can unlock it, but it'll take, what, the whole season to unlock it? Surely everyone by then has found the same pace as whatever you've unlocked by the time you unlock it, so it's decision time for Mercedes. 
if the decisions haven't already been made. Like, I I think I think this is, I, <laughs> I think the parts are already being manufactured, and uh, I I gather people might fall for like you know these these small vanity upgrades that they're doing. I mean, don't don't fall for those. These upgrades they have to marry a larger concept, and if the larger concept isn't isn't grounded. <laughs> could be a funny pun for a ground fixer but if the if the if the larger concept isn't isn't grounded then you know th these vanity upgrades don't matter forget about or oh, they they brought a new mirror stay or something like forget about that oh, those things don't matter those things <laughs> those things are great if you've got a car that's already maxing out in performance and it's evidently not so forget about those those upgrades don't matter when I'm talking about parts that have already been scheduled for manufacturing I'm talking big projects suspension rebuilds redesigns the whole thing but I mean we'll have to see what happens depends how big an upgrade they actually had planned for for Spain I mean if it's just like <clears throat> if it's just repositioning the internal so that they can sort out their um their sense of gravity i mean they've got a high sense of gravity just due to how the car's laid out i suppose but assuming they sort that out then yeah i i guess there's no really there's no real wrong step for them to make in spain but if they've really stuck with this zero parts concept <laughs> post spain i mean i i hope their solution it is a real solution because if not i mean the season could be a, a little more than a write-off <laughs> this could be uh i mean that mercedes might even just opt to pull out like yeah sure we'll sell the team to audi or porsche whoever whoever the fuck wants it i mean they might just do that wouldn't that be an interesting move huh We'll have to consider that another time. But Toto, I mean, he had to see it to believe it. Same as the rest of us. Same as Hamilton. And I mean, Toto, he has to consider extra things, right? <laughs> People are seeing Hamilton being um, being off pace compared to Russell. And I mean, maybe this is a case of me not believing my lying eyes. Who knows, right? But Toto has to consider that maybe the, maybe the magic's gone he has to consider that so he's got extra problems so he's looking at Hamilton like oh, do you, you don't have any magic to put you gotta have a magic switch in there oh there is a magic switch we know about it <laughs> but it's not it's not gonna change anything yet <laughs> it's not gonna change anything so Toto he's got problems to consider some of them are very real problems, some of them not so real problems. The car, however, <laughs> I mean the car, you can't hide from the car at this point now. But at least I hope some respect is given out now when this car gets some good results. Because I mean by the time they're winning Grand Prix, they'll, they'll functionally be punching above their weight. That's just how the team is built. So, we'll see what happens. Will Mercedes unlock this car? That's really optimistic. It looks like a very difficult car to unlock. But if they do unlock it, well, well, all bets are off. I mean, <laughs> it might even get to a situation where everyone has to make the zero pods work or or maybe the FI will ban them. I mean, that's another outcome. All right, we'll just have to see what happens. I mean, Toto might be wishing that the the, <laughs> the latter becomes the, the outcome, at least in a few years' time. Oh, the concept was so good that it's ban it, whoa. But we'll have to see what happens. Peace. Hell breezy.
Let me show you how to keep the dice rolling when you're doing that thing over there. Hey, 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 let's go. Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away. But I know that I don't and I won't ever stop. Cause you know I gotta win every day, day. Go. She really, really wanna pop me. Go. Just know that you will never pop me. Go. And I know that I gotta be a little cocky. Go. You ain't never gonna stop me. Every time I come, a nigga gotta set it, then I gotta go and then I gotta get it, then I gotta blow and then I gotta shut it. Any little thing a nigga think that he be doing, cause it doesn't matter, cause I'm gonna did it, did it. Then I'm gonna murder everything and anything about a boom, about a bing. I gotta do a lot of things to make it clearer to a couple niggas that I always win and then I gotta get it again and again and then again. And I be doing it to death and now I move a little foul, a nigga better call a rap and everybody know my style, a nigga's running on the best when it come to doing this and I be banging on my chest and I bang in the east and I bang in the west and I come to give you more and I will never give you less. You will hear it in the street and you can read it in the press. Do you really wanna know what's next? Let's go. See the way we own it and we all up in the race and you know we got it gonna try to keep up with the pace and we struggling and hustling and set it and I get it and we all gotta do it, take it to another place, gotta taste it and I gotta grab it and I gotta cut all through this traffic just.